Art such as the red, who dwelled in the land kissed by the sun. We dressed in hides of the four footed tribes and were one with the earth and the bark and the stone. We followed the path of the red road and were guided by the seasons of the moon. They came on ships of wood, in skin of white, in robes of black, with a cross of silver and a luster of gold that they took with the power of the smoking gun. The path they followed was crooked, and their words were forked on their tongue. We rode on horses swift as the wind. They rode the iron horse, and their iron was invincible. We drew our bows and the arrows were straight, our bows were strong. The arrows were true, and some pierced up to the feathers and some pierced clean on through. But their iron horse kept snorting, and the wheels of the iron horse kept grinding. And our sacred hoop was broken in the morning of the moon when the grasses are covered with dew. They chased us from the land of the daybreak star to the setting of the sun in the west. They took away our land, took the path again, and we were penned as the bison, marooned on islands in the plain. And what was left was divided among the people, and it was as if dividing by zero, and our portion was less than nothing, and our rulers were gamblers and gunmen blessed by the missionaries who stole the spirit of our children and crucified us in the moon of red cherries. They planted ribbons of steel, and the rusty snake coiled our fields and choked out our harvest, and the earth was turned to dust. They stuck our fields with talking wire, and the buffalo were scattered when their barrels of steel spat fire. And the buffalo were turned to dust, for the harvest of the seed was steel, and the fruit of their steel was rust. They fed us their culture, and the body of the tribes were wasted in their disease. And there was none but the eagle to witness when they wrapped us around with their blankets of sickness. And spring turned to summer, and summer to fall and we fell in the moon of the falling leaves. Oh, Whitney, great poet with your white beard and your barrel chested destiny and your great white words realizing rusted off the page like a man jerking his seed, like the spreading of their seed working westward. Mad poet battling in the glories of your cities and the stone towers scraping the sky and the bridges tall stretched out bridges with dark steel fingers and the glow of your factories and the bright fires in the night and the pounding on the anvils the sparks flying from the anvils and how so beautiful not so much like well the new people spreading like the locusts Eating up the fields of forest and the fields of corn. Not on their wheels, not in their turning, not in all their desires. Sucking up the rivers till the beds are dry, sucking the breasts of our mother. Sucking up all the air from the sky and saying, For this is our destiny. And we will make it manifest.
Because the power of the world always works in circles, and everything tries to be round. In the old days, when we were a strong and happy people, all of our power came to us from the sacred hoop of the nation. And so long as the hoop was unbroken, the people flourished. The flowering tree was the living center of the hoop, and the circle of the four quarters nourished it. The east gave peace and light, the south gave warmth. The west gave rain, and the north with its cold and mighty wind gave strength and endurance. This knowledge came to us from the outer world with our religion. Everything the power of the world does is done in a circle. The sky is round, and I have heard that the earth is round like a ball, and so are all the stars. The wind in its greatest power whirls. Birds make their nests in circles, for theirs is the same religion as ours. The sun comes forth and goes down again in a circle. The moon does the same and both go round. Even the seasons form a great circle in their changing, and always come back again to where they were. The life of a man is a circle from childhood to childhood, and so it is in everything where power moves. Our teepees were round like the nests of birds, and these were always set in a circle of the nations who, a nest of many nests, where the Great Spirit meant for us to hatch our children. Yeah. 